Hi there. As I'm getting more ready with the kayak, it's time to start thinking about uh, accessories. So this time I'm going to make some uh, different kinds of kayak seats. Uh, a kayak seat needs to be comfortable, of course, but there are also some other things that uh, one needs to pay attention to. For example, you don't want to sit too high, uh, especially if you're just kayaking or sailing. If you're fishing from a kayak, that's a different, different kind of seat you need. Uh, the seat that I'm going to do first is, uh, is just a standard seat, uh, which is uh, in the blueprint that I bought from the designer. But I will also try to make a more simple kind of seat, which I think might be even better. For my purposes, at least. So let's start with that. The standard seat is made out of foam. In this case I have a 1 cm thick vinyl cell that is left from the bulkheads that I can use. I cut 40 cm times 40 cm big flakes for the bottom of the seat. I do not have so much material left so I try to figure out how to use the material. Some pieces are not straight, but on the sides here it doesn't matter. The blueprint says 8 cm thickness, but I settle for less. When I have got all the foam I need for the seat, I mix up some thickened epoxy. I strike on epoxy a rather thick layer on both sides as the foam will suck up some. And try to fit the foam reasonably well. With some clamps, the pieces will stay in place until cured. When all is cured, I clean cut the edges. I soon realize that the knife is not the best tool for shaping the foam. So I change to an oscillating saw. This is much easier. And I'm soon done so that I can vacuum off the dust and try the seat. A little too tight fit for me. Which I soon adjust. And vacuum clean. Better. The bottom needs to be shaped to the kayak hull in both ends. Now I start the oscillating saw and mark lines for the cut around the bottom. With a foxtail saw, I take off the bulk of the material. It's not pretty yet. With the oscillating saw as a planner, I take off the rest. And get rid of the fine dust. The edges need to be strengthened. Thickened epoxy and glass will make a strong and hard surface. 
When the epoxy is cured, I will add the foam pad as the surface layer. First, some glue. In this case, I spread contact adhesive on all surfaces before pressing down the pad. It soon gets boring, so I change to gravel. And clamps. The last step is to cut off the excess. Looks okay, I think. And it's comfortable. Now the simple seat. I will make this seat out of soft foam only. I make the sides thicker with sheep foam. I make the surface layer in a thicker and more glossy material. The contact adhesive has lost some of the solvent, but it does not matter in this case. With some persistence I get it out. I press the layers together and let it cure. Now the surface layer. I open a new tube of glue. And add the surface layer. And let this cure as well. This is actually more comfortable than the other seat. It will give a better stability in water as the body is closer to the bottom. So I make another seat of the second type. This one I make with uh, both sides in the glossy material. Using the newly opened tube it does not take many seconds to glue all three layers together in one go. With a small leftover piece I also managed to press the middle part of the pad together. Just as good and very comfortable. Thank you for watching. This was all for this time. See you next time.